She's now calling me selfish, claiming I'm taking advantage of her with conditions of a prenup. I feel like she's using the child situation against me. While money is a concern for me, I also want to know if Erica wants to be with me because of love and not financial assistance. Welcome to the Hallet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, my pregnant girlfriend thinks my prenup conditions are unfair. Should she be entitled to more? This is a good lesson video, guys, about why single moms are not a good idea and how some guys are just boneheads when it comes to women and create their own problems. The story of this man is a classic, don't be this guy. Just because a man is successful in business and the bank balance, he can still be a complete moron when it comes to relationships and when to walk away. Thank you to Kayla, part of the 15% of women who watch my channel, for sending this to me. But before embarking on an expedition, I thank you for the thumbs up you've given me, the subscribe, and hit the bell to be instantly notified of new videos. Stay tuned to the end as I make a special request of you, my viewers. Let's begin the journey. I, mid-40s, have been through two painful divorces which have cost me some hard-earned money. My girlfriend of 18 months, Erica, is in her late 30s and mother to a young child from a previous marriage. She makes about 50K, while I make over 200K. Slap to the back of the head. What's wrong with you? Have you failed to realize the lessons from your previous two marriages? Are you seriously entertaining a relationship with a single mom? Maybe you forgot A plus B equals C, and this won't end well. A, you made two previous bad choices in women. B, you are involved with a single mom. Does anyone want to guess what C will turn out to be? I told Erica that marriage was not something I wanted due to my history. Erica, however, believed that marriage was very important to her as she did wish to have children in the future. She didn't want her current child to think having children outside of marriage was proper. Slap to the back of the head. Again, what the hell is wrong with you? You made it very clear you didn't want children and yet you're involved with a single mom with one. I'm proud of you for setting boundaries about marriage. However, that will be about as effective as mice guarding cheese. This is a classic, let us be so non-self-aware as we set boundaries guaranteed to fail. By the way, in my mind, this makes you delusional at this moment. I wanted to compromise, and about a year ago I offered a prenup as an option. Erica didn't respond well at all. She found it quite insulting and we broke up for about a month. Erica and I eventually got back together. She said she would sign the prenup. Slap to the back of the head. Why? Are you that desperate that you would allow her back into your life? I'm sorry, my brother. And to be blunt, I'm beginning to see why you're twice divorced. It appears you have what they call a scarcity mentality. Dude, if you are in the USA, there are approximately 53 million women between the ages of 18 and 40 in this country, of which 24 million or 45% are single. This mindset causes you to obsess over one ratty fish in the entire ocean. It's becoming obvious to me 
You like the broken ones, don't you? Oh, and by the way, she's lying. If a woman refuses a prenup, then breaks up, and comes back, don't buy it. Chances are, she has a plan to manipulate you. Could she be honest? Sure, that would be nice. However, it would be wise not to take her back unless she signs it first at your lawyer's office. Guys, can you all see what he's doing wrong here? Now I have to wonder what his parents' relationship was like because he's acting out his negative childhood relationship chaos as an adult. If you grow up in a home of a relationship chaos, uncertainty, dysfunction, and drama, you will, as an adult, seek to recreate that as an adult simply because it's what you know. Erica and I eventually got back together. She said she would sign the prenup and all was going well until I found out Erica was, wait for it, pregnant at the beginning of the year. Erica supposedly had an IUD, so this was not good news. After going to the hospital and undergoing an ultrasound, the doctors were able to see the baby. However, no signs of the IUD. The IUD must have fallen out. Slap to the back of the head. Seriously? It fell out and she didn't notice? Are you so stupid that you're going to buy that because apparently she thinks you are? What did I tell you? When they come back, usually they have a plan to manipulate you. You said it yourself. You make six figures and you can provide a lifestyle she's chasing. This woman has your number. She knows you can't help yourself but to white knight. And as I always say, what is the most likely thing to happen to knights on the battlefield? They get slaughtered. By the way, I checked. The rate of IUD expulsion, meaning falling out, is typically between 2 and 10% within the first year of use, with most estimates falling around 3 to 5%. In other words, if the chances of winning Powerball were the same as an IUD falling out, you'd expect to win the jackpot once about every 39,999 years if you played daily. There is a high probability this child, as we did have sex around that time, as far as I know, Erica was not seeing other men. Okay, I think what he meant to say there's a high probability the child is his. Slop to the back of the head. It's official. You're a dumbass. Let's see. Single mom who's manipulative and uses victim mentality. Lack of accountability shows behavior indicative of DPD, Dependent Personality Disorder, or worse crap going on in that head of hers. And yet, you insist on believing she's being honest with you. Dude, are you are being manipulated and baby trapped. You need to insist on a NIP, N-I-P-P, otherwise known as non-invasive prenatal paternity test now if she resists you have your answer about whether the kid is yours or not if it is yours have your lawyer draw up financial support agreement do not let the courts do it have them draw it up and get her to sign it ASAP do not marry her do not live with her do not reward her bad behavior. Be a father, but get help. You need it. And get away from this woman relationship-wise. We decided we wanted to have the child. Slap to the back of the head. What do you mean, we? You mean she decided and told you what to think. You went along with it since, well, you have no legal recourse anyways. Consequently, 
I have been planning for her and her daughter to move into my house as we raise our baby. I'm fortunate to have savings and a job to afford a family of four at the current moment. I've been anxious to get Erica on my insurance, she's currently uninsured, and brought up the prenup again, slapped to the back of the head. That was for taking her word the kid is yours. Slapped to the back of the head. That is for planning for her and her daughter to move into my house. Slapped to the back of the head. That is for I've been anxious to get Erica on my insurance. Slapped to the back of the head. That is for letting her get her claws into you again and this time being manipulated into it without any kind of prenup or domestic partnership breakup agreement. At this point, you need to put as many as possible of your assets into trusts and LLCs so she cannot get it in any way, shape, or form. Guys, this is where you see an estate lawyer to advise you on how to protect what you own from a woman like this. The state governments will reward women like this with cash and prizes for their bad behavior, married or not. I've been anxious to get Erica on my insurance, she's currently uninsured, and brought up, again, brought up the prenup again. I explained basically how she would not benefit from the divorce no alimony, not receiving money from my job or sale of my house. She was again so insulted, she decided to end our relationship. I was so surprised. You know what, folks? I'm done. My pimp hand is tired. Are you tired, buddy? Yeah, I know. Slapping him over and over again is just tiring, huh? Yeah. I'm talking. This is the kind of guy that most modern women will not respect and will take advantage of because he has bought into the Disney romantic comedy version of love and relationships which lead men to failure at best. At worst, many men find themselves bent over in the prison shower forced to take it hard and deep. Oh, and Bubba, in this scenario, is the family court system. I thought I was meeting Erica on her terms, and I would be supporting her, her child, ex can't afford child support. Of course not. That's how Chad, Tyrone, and even Raj rolls. Who needs him when she has a sucker like you? I thought I was meeting Erica on her terms and would be supporting her, her, child, her child's ex can't afford child support and our new child financially. If things don't work out, Erica will already have child support from me. That is a separate agreement from the prenup. She is now calling me selfish and claiming I'm taking advantage of her with conditions of a prenup. I feel like she's using the child situation against me. Well, that's because she is, dummy. While money is a concern for me, I also want to know Erica wants to be with me because of love and not financial assistance. Should I be offering more to her? What you should offer her? A few manly demands like a nip test, and if that's not yours, kick her to the curb block her on everything, and never let her back into your life. Next, find a male therapist to help you figure out why you insist on having relationships with broken and damaged women. The problem isn't them. The problem is you, my brother, and you need to fix this. No more dating until you do. I know I've been hard on you. And until the truth is accepted, there can be no change. I work hard on this channel because I want to help men, plain 
and simple. In the comments below, give this brother your thoughts and advice. As for my special request, I want your feedback on what you want to see more of on this channel. Please leave your comments below or email them to me directly with feedback in the comment line of your email. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. I'm sure all you guys out there know at least a couple of guys who really need to start watching my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or subscribe to my Locals, Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you are leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos so that others may watch them and it supports me for creating more content for you.